Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to come on here and talk about the whole Teriyaki Tina, a.k.a. Tokyo Tony situation. So if you guys don't know, this situation with her and Black China, it's just getting uglier and uglier, okay? So over the weekend, this was this past, I believe, Friday, Saturday, she went online to basically tell the world that Black China was a part of the Illuminati and that she was trying to sacrifice her. And then she posted a recorded message where she recorded her conversation with Black China. She posted online for everybody to hear, okay? So this entire situation is just really disturbing. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this video really quick and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Don't 
All right, y'all. So you guys just heard that really disturbing audio. So now that's not bad enough. As of yesterday, Teriyaki Tina has literally went batshit crazy, okay? So now she's gone on camera. She's ranting and raving again. And she basically, once again, calls Black China a mistake. Says she wished she never had her. But then goes on to say that she's the product of a statutory rape baby. That she was 16 years old when Black China's father got her pregnant. Okay, and this guy was a straight up Rolling Stone. They talked about this. If you guys watch the Black China and Rob show, the man has all types of kids. Half the kids are like, you know, a few months apart. Like Black China and like two of her sisters and her brother. They're literally within six months of each other. I mean, the guy had all types of disgusting issues. And so basically Tokyo Tony is blasting them. And she's saying that the E! Network work only paid her two thousand dollars she's homeless it's just all types of mess going on i'm going to go ahead and read you guys what she wrote on social media then i'm going to go ahead and show you guys the videos go ahead and check this out so terry akatina goes on to say this she says looking at you disgusted me i'm blocking your ugly ass pig bitch you used to look like me now you look like michael jackson's clone your skin is white as snow. How the fuck did that happen? Your nose is narrow. How did that happen? Your waist is snatched. How did that happen? How did you get on earth? How did that happen? For you to tell these lies on me, I'm a bitter bitch. Do you understand me? You are a travesty. Do you understand me? You are absolutely disgusting and give a bad taste in my mouth every time I think of you. For you to do all you did, don't worry, I'm putting it all in my book with the public. C is nothing. You will not be the same bitch when I'm finished with you. The truth always wins, baby. In the good Lord saw your unworthy ass coming for me. Can you get a picture of yourself with your children playing with them? How about a video with you giving them a bath? Guarantee you, you don't. I've raised you. You told that bullshit lie only as my family said they are looking crazy at me. I still defended your bitch ass hoe. I wish I never met your father. I regret that and it's the only regret in my fucking life. I don't even regret being raped by a man for three hours in the back of that school, bitch. If you and him were in a river and I had to save one of y'all, yeah, me and him go argue on that boat. You aren't a god. You're a human, a weak ass piece of flesh, ungodly, disrespectful. Guess what? You was right when you said Tokyo Tony will drag you and your whole fucking family. Guess what, bitch? Take your own advice here. I come and ain't, God, this woman's writing. And ain't nobody will stop me, baby. You lose. You never looked out for your grandmother. You let your friend Cody said your grandmother $500 and you didn't do it. She then goes on to say a bunch more shit. I'm done reading that nonsense. Go ahead and check out these videos that she posted online. AKA Black China. The name I gave you was Angela Renee. The disrespect that you have been giving me for the past quite a few years, I've tolerated it because I'm your mama, you're the only child, but you better keep in mind I'm a bad bitch. You know exactly who you fucking with. That's why every chance you motherfucking get, bitch, you breathe my whole motherfucking name. See, you wouldn't be where the fuck you are if it wasn't for me. Oh, fuck birthing you, bitch. That was a mistake. Just happened to come into play. You was a statutory rape baby. But yet you got this man and his whole fucking family at your house on yachts and shit last year. But you ain't never get your uncles that was raised with you. My little brothers that's three years older and six years older than me, they know where on the map. You don't call nobody now, family, because you lied on me. The truth will be told, sweetheart. You crept in Hollywood on pretenses. Yacht ride with her sister. You know, the man that statutory raped me 16 and he was in his 20s. Yeah. He never gave me one brown motherfucker penny or say thank you for my daughter. But they set me up on the show to come through. Oh, yeah, they did. But he need to get sued. If I had that motherfucker old China money, because she told me she broke. If I had that old China money, bitch, I would sue them whole motherfucking grill out of E for two or three reasons. One, you only gave me $2,500 to do all that beautiful shit, which is the realest shit, because that show wouldn't have been shit. So, facts would be boring. It wouldn't have been reality. It would have been false reality. So they said, anytime somebody 
throw their mother under the bus when their mother protected them, fed them, and did all this shit even when they fucking grown. Stop dropping roll at the drop of a dime. Ready to motherfucking go to war. Oh, yeah, you didn't know? Oh, let me break it down. Tiger called some Crips, Bloods, whatever he is on me before. I ain't mad at him. We cool. We got past it in about two, three hours. Yeah, he got trail involved in everything. And I said the same thing I'm saying now. Come through. Because when they made one, they made motherfucker two. Because she left King with me. Tiger was supposed to get him on a Sunday. It was Saturday. If it was fucking Sunday, he gone because that's where the fuck he's supposed to go. It's called split it. If I, King was with me and Tiger gave her, she would have had to wait till fucking Sunday because I'm fed like that. Bitch, you violated. You fucked up. I'm a D.C. Southeast bitch. And you said I'm not your mother? Bad. All I can do is sigh at this point. I've drugged this woman so many times for how she talks to her daughter, the shit that she posted on social media. This woman is batshit crazy. At this point in time, she needs to be medicated and thrown into some type of mental institution. I understand why Black China doesn't want to have anything to do with her. She's an embarrassment as a mother, and I don't give a fuck how many times she comes at me. You kiss my ass, bitch. You, ma'am, you're an embarrassment. You're a horrible mother. And if your daughter's a horrible daughter, she learned that from you, okay? Because children are the products of their damn parents, okay? You know, this woman has so many issues. She's literally blaming her daughter for her being homeless. She's blaming her daughter because her daughter's refusing to look out for her. Your daughter don't owe you shit, bitch, okay? You owe yourself something in life. If you're homeless, you're homeless because of you. That's your fault. At one point in time, Black China had her a car. They were putting her up in an apartment. This woman chose to quit her job, whatever job that was, and chose not to sustain her livelihood. It's not Black China's job to take care of you. It is Black China's job to rear and take care of her children, okay? This entire situation is just sickening that this woman will not let this shit go. She's literally just looking for attention. She's looking to start chaos in this woman's life so that way she can sell her damn books. The fact that you're willing to throw your daughter under the bus, to me it sounds like you're more on some Illuminati shit than your own daughter. Because Black China doesn't even speak on this woman anymore, but yet and still this woman will not keep Black China's name out of her mouth. She will not stop blasting her and roasting her and going off on her on social media. The entire situation is just disgusting. And if the father raped her behind a school when she was 16, then the father is just as disgusting. But why are you taking that out on Black China? Take that out on the father. You know what I'm saying? Hell, there's a whole Me Too movement going on. Go press charges on his ass. They'll probably throw his ass in jail. Because, hell, you got folks coming after Bill Cosby 30 years later. Go after Black China's father. But stop blaming her for your damn fuck up. I'm so tired of Terry Akitina and these bullshit ass rants that she keep posting on social media. I'm going to need her at this point in time to have a tall glass to shut the fuck up, okay? Okay, that is all. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy ass situation. Once again, concerning Teriyaki Tina, aka Tokyo Damn Tony, going off on Black China and saying that she wished that she never had her and that she's a product of rape and you know she's trying to sacrifice her. Just all the you know these are rantings of a damn lunatic. So, anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.